April 19th, one day before the big day. Um, I told myself if I was going to do another scorecard update video this morning, um, this Friday, that I wouldn't get sidetracked like I did yesterday. It's not always a bad thing, but I want to get the numbers updated here and share some context where it's necessary and keep it uh, focused on the scorecard for this morning. So I've already pulled up custom aids, the uh, CM Bay City Nurturely Plus account. I've got, well, I don't have the dates here. I apologize. I don't even know what date. Yep, it's the 20th of January. January 20th, 2024 to April 19th today, 2024 is what we're looking at. So custom aids, we are sitting at 333 leads. 155 estimates delivered and 84 wins. 33, 333, 155. Excellent. Dayton. Three oh eight. 103 and 27. Got a lot of leads yesterday. Nice. All right, Las Vegas. We are chugging along over here on this one. I didn't get notified of any wins, but we've been delivering estimates. I know they are. Um, they're getting filled up at least the, that sales pipeline is, I saw there are like 18 or 19 in service scheduled. So we are, I, it feels like we're on the cusp of like a huge jump, um, here. All right. So Las Vegas, we've got 198, 82 and 11, 82. That feels like the going to be the member of the week this week. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think the other two had as big of a jump. I don't think so. Orlando might, but I, they got it two weeks ago, so they already tracked up that high. We'll see. We'll find out. It makes it, it keeps it interesting. It's def definitely fun for me. Um, all right, Riverside, we've got 132, 74, and 6. All right, so we see that estimate getting delivered. I know that we can go in and, and, and release a few more leads. Two forty one, forty nine, and 13. <laughs> Reagan has been adding little by little um, to these estimates. This is where I got sidetracked yesterday. If Orlando delivered estimates similarly to Riverside, let's say around 40%, maybe if I put this to like 25, nope, not that one. I need this to go higher. I need this to be at like, let's say 65. No, we're gonna put it at 75 because they have 241 leads. That's that's right. It dramatically changes um, the numbers. Granted, those are 26 more estimates. So that is a lot of points, but I mean, Orlando is below Riverside here, but if they were to deliver the same number of estimates, of course they have more chances, but because they have so many more wins or double the amount of wins, they would launch way ahead of Riverside and um, actually even leapfrog Las Vegas for the third, third position. Now that's like quite unreasonable to get 25 estimates in a single day, um, but it was not long ago that this 90 day window, this 90 day view had Orlando at about 31 estimates. So remember, it's not like over the course of the year, they've gotten 18 more estimates. They've gained 18 estimates within a 90 day period. So probably they've delivered like 30, for example. 
but only 18 show up because they've, they've started to fall off in the 91st, 92nd, 93rd day, and so on. So what Reagan has been doing has not gone unnoticed, and, and that has got to be a mix of her um, hiring another another cleaner, another member of the team, but she also has her husband now helping with the back end of things. And when it's not just you working towards that one goal, it just, it makes everything so much easier. And I know there's difficulties working with families. I mean, I do, I work with my mom and my sister. Um, I've never worked with a spouse. Um, so husband and wife duo, Chris and Macy obviously kill it in Dayton. Um, it's not without its trials and tribulations, but um, you know that that person's got you at the end of the day. Um, it is a lot easier to go forward knowing it's just not you. You're, you're not alone in the ring. Um, all right. Before I go off on another tangent, we're going to go to South Houston. We've got 70. That feels weird. <laughs> okay, so yes. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be funny. I have, I'm going to go look real quick. What day is it? The 19th. There should be a lot of leads on January 19th. Or a lot of like updated ones. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Many of them have fallen off. All right, so only. Less than, let me just see this. Whoa. I think we are about to see, it's not the downfall. The scorecard is actually gonna do a little bit better here because we're going from 96 opportunities all the way down to 76. We still have 18 estimates and three wins. So it's gonna go 76. We're gonna take away 20 opportunities. That negative 229 is gonna improve a touch. Five points. It's gonna go back down because we didn't, we, we also lost an estimate delivery, but that 3.9 conversion rate, it was 3.1, now it's 3.9. So that conversion rate is a full point higher, but the ACQ is gonna still roughly be the same and all of the wins and now all of the successes are gonna have to start coming from within the platform. So if they keep adding, if they were to add a win here, I mean, it, it just rockets you um, forward. There's not, same thing with Ozarks now, um, they have a little more time, but any if you're anything other than good, like it's not a sound investment for us. For, for the RCF. So we will slow down, if not stop the ad spend and make sure stuff gets figured out um, before we start cranking it back up. 31, 10, and 5. This one's going to stay. Oh, boy. Oh, this one. The last known. Okay, so it's been three days, I guess, since the last update oh my gosh so then a week eight days it's the same person brent it's the same person anything other than brenda was from april 7th that's 12 days ago so i did reach out to ozarks this is tiffany one of the two tiffany's we have in the program um kind of worried about her I have to reach out here again.
she was on top of the CRM, keeping notes, keeping the pipeline fresh, and she even won five of the 31. She has the second highest conversion rate in the entire program. And then I don't know what happened. I do believe she charges way too little for her services. So by the time you get a recurring client, there's no money to pay the finder's fee. And that causes um, extreme uh, issue, extreme, like a cash flow issue. Um, that's why this is really, this program is, it, it doesn't benefit startups. You can if you have the funding for it, but oh my gosh, and then this one. Still got new lead to call attempt one from call attempt one to call attempt or to new lead. Okay, so I see. Yikes. All right, Mount Airy is sitting at 56, 18, and 4. Indianapolis, though, sitting pretty at seven, five, and one. And lastly, I am hoping I didn't update it and it's supposed to be four, but I do believe we have a win to record here if I didn't get greedy and do it yesterday. So 85. 23 and four. All right. 85, 23. This is going to take us up. Gosh, it might even take it up to sixth, seventh place. Whoa, way up. You're up into the sixth place. Okay. So now if you added one more, now I guess it would take two more. One more with like two or three estimates delivered, you'd be good. <laughs> but now... 22, three, yeah, see, we're, here we go. This is a much, much better. Um, I'm going to sort this and now, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, Orlando Reagan, you're now a tier two member. Ozarks and Indianapolis would be up and coming if they can, once they get going. Indianapolis, I believe, um, will. Mount Airy, you need a few more leads as well. Um, I'll start seeing these ratios here, set five, five, and seven. Not, not great, um, but not terrible either. Um, so Grand Rapids with a huge jump forward. I mean, that's a lot of ACQ points. However, does not count towards the member of the week because they must already be positive for two consecutive weeks. Um, we're not going to take a negative um, that's, that remains a negative and, and count that as growth. We want you to be positive ACQ. That's what the whole goal is. And from there, we will award our members of the week. Um, but right now, we are going to take our averages, and that one is going to help it big time. Plus 15 overall, plus 6 on the RCF. We are, we are real close to the all-time high again. I mean, we've been hovering, I guess, there um, for a bit, but it is much better than what we were even just in, um, you know, January. We had a negative ACQ as an average for everybody, and now this is, it's already a night and day difference, and we're still <laughs> in the infancy stages. Um, but it's working. RCF, class RCF 004, I always that up. I always mess that up. It's I always say RCF class 004, but it's class RCF 004. I just have these identifiers, and the why I do that is because legacy and RCF 00, whatever number it is, have the same amount of characters. There's six in each, and I wanted it to be the same. Uh, but I need to um, be reminded of, of when people came into the program. So if I know RCF 002, I know that was like, uh, quarter three of 2023. Legacy was quarter one and quarter two of 2023, and 003 is quarter four of 2023. 
so they all mean something. They, they kind of group where you came in or when you came in, kind of lets you compare yourself um, against those folks with the, with the same duration of membership as you. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you for sticking with me. It's 15 minutes. It's, it's like half of what yesterday was, um, but it's much better to fly through this and, and get these numbers updated. I haven't seen anyone, oops, I'm in the wrong one. Oops, no one update or popped in here uh, recently to check their score. Um, trophy case, medal points, member of the member of the week awards, all that good stuff. Thanks again. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Talk to y'all soon.